this is uh, Scott Anderson, KJ4MFW. I'm a ham operator here in North Alabama, uh, just outside of uh, Huntsville, about a uh, half hour or so. And uh, Winter Field Day is coming up. So uh, it's the last weekend in January. And uh, so anyway, this uh, past weekend, I went out and uh, tested my gear and had a great time doing field operations from the TVA Dam uh, for Lake Gunnersville. Um, it was uh, really cool. I, I, I think it, what it did was it reminded me that uh, you don't have to wait for a field day to go ahead and operate in the field. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do so. In fact, I'm going to show you my setup here in a moment of what I used and uh, just kind of how it operated. Uh, but basically all I took was a radio, a, a pole, and a, a wire antenna. And uh, so uh, I was able to operate, set up in a, probably about a half hour, and uh, put uh, a couple hours of air time on and then uh, was able to go home for the day. Uh, winter field day, of course, is a little bit more serious. Uh, I operate uh, with some friends of mine. We have a, a group of, you know, four to six people depending on uh, the event. But uh, for winter field day, I think we're going to have probably five people. And we're going to try to set up uh, three stations. Uh, we'll, we're actually going to operate from the TVA dam. Um, part of the reason why I wanted to go there was just to experiment to see if we had cell coverage, uh, you know, how crowded it was, uh, what uh, what the scenario would be for when we actually do winter field day. Um, now, when I was there, this is uh, first weekend in December, um, it was 70 degrees, <laughs> sunny, uh, no need for a tent set up or a heater. Um, but uh, one thing that uh, I did become aware of is that uh, there are no electricity outlets. So um, it's probably something, if it is cold, we'll have to you know, use a non-electric way to stay warm, uh, propane heat or something like that. Uh, but anyway, it's a good idea to do that and uh, you know, go scout your location before you do that. I know... Um, the main reason for doing this video is just to kind of, you know, I recorded what I was doing kind of to get in the practice mode for shooting some video for Winter Field Day. And that's something important to do. Uh, you want to bring lots of cameras or the ones that you're going to use and uh, kind of plan how you're going to use them. Uh, I'm going to take pictures. I had my wife on hand <laughs> who uh, helped out with the photography and the videography. Uh, we also, this for this time, uh, are going to try to use a drone. And so I uh, just did some practice with that. But uh, again, uh, the more you can plan, the, the more prepared you'll be. And so winter field day is a lot of fun. And uh, video-wise, picture-wise, it's always good to share that with other people to uh, help generate an interest in the sport. Now, uh, here's a look at my setup for, the, for my practice run. Uh, I, of course, didn't set up the tent. Um, I didn't uh, bring all the uh, materials that we probably, or supplies that we'll use for the actual field day event, but uh, just did a quick setup. Um, had a table, this is my uh, radio, uh, Yezu 857D, um, and uh, we used a G5, or I used a G5 RV Junior uh, for this event, and I think that's probably what will, something similar to this is what we'll use at each of the stations. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to do digital one day and for that it's nice to have an internet connection and so it was kind of important just to make sure that the cellular signal uh, was available because that's how we're probably going to have uh, access to the internet. Uh, let's see here, oh yes you can see the drone footage, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm new to this so um, I'm not an expert at it but I did have fun uh, flying the drone over the station. I think the, the one thing that I noticed was there was nobody operating the station though so it probably wasn't quite as cool as what I wanted. And when we do this on field day, most likely, uh, unless the weather's the same as it was <laughs> for this event, uh, it's the, the, the radios will be inside the tent. So uh, probably not going to get very good drone footage there. Uh, or if I tried to, we might have an accident. So uh, we won't be doing that. Uh, but anyway, I had a lot of fun. I listened to uh, some stations. Uh, there was one uh, station operating out of Calgary, I believe, and I uh, tried a couple times to get through to him without uh, any success, but I, I was able to reach out to, uh, I think as far west as uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and that was kind of cool. But uh, again, with more people here and more time to actually be on the radio, this will be a, a lot of fun for Winterfield Day. So. Well, that was just a quick look at uh, some footage. I want to kind of share that with you. It's kind of neat to see this stuff on YouTube. I know um, I personally will go look and, and try to see other people's setups just to say, hey, that would be a good idea to have that, or ooh, look what they did, uh, that kind of wow factor. It's good to share it. So that's kind of what I was doing here. Uh, hopefully I'll start posting more videos, uh, but uh, if not, you'll have this one. So uh, 73 is all, and I uh, hope to see you uh, listen hear you 
uh, down the log, as we say in the ham radio world. Uh, 73s, KJ4MFW clear.